Well, good morning and welcome to another video. My name is Stanley Orchard and I do a lot of fishing as is evidenced by the fishing videos that I have on my YouTube channel here. Since we do a lot of fishing here, we do have a tendency of breaking things from time to time. Brand new Pen Carnage 2 about a year ago. Uh, it was a birthday present and I'm afraid I broke the tip off of that guy on the very first cast. I'm really disappointed in this rod. It's unfortunate because I really, really liked the rod. This was intended to be a surf fishing outfit for sharks. I was casting an eight ounce uh, spider weight and the very first cast just took the tip right off the end of the rod. I do really like this rod and I'm hoping that it is going to be able to withstand a little bit more than what that one cast put it through. Well, we're going to find out, and the only way to do that is to get the tip fixed. Today I picked up one of these really simple and really cheap Eagle Claw uh, repair kits for the tip of the rod. I've got a couple that are broken that I'm going to be fixing today, but this is the most important one, so this is the one that I'm going to be showing you. You can pick up these repair kits at Dick's, or uh, you might even be able to get them at like Walmart. I haven't even seen them. If you don't feel like taking the time to do that, don't worry about it. This one costs about $7.50, give or take. I'll have a link to uh, the product in the description down below. You can get it off of Amazon. If I can find any discounts on it, I will. I'll get you the discounted one. You can pick it up there, have it delivered to your door, and fix the rod on your own time. At least that's, you know, the process that I go through. So anyway, I'm going to fix this rod. It's a real simple, real quick, and easy process. In fact, everything up until this point probably took longer than the actual process of fixing the rod. So I'm going to go ahead and jump to that now, show you how I fix it, how easy it was, and then we can all get about our day and maybe go do a little bit of fishing. Okay, so literally the most difficult part of this was just opening the package. You get it open, you find the correct tip for the rod, you put it, and it's not that one, let's uh, try this, this is the next size up, and yeah, that one fits just fine. So we're gonna run with that one. Uh, that'll work just, just fine. We're gonna heat up the rod cement, which I suspect is probably just hot glue. Um, that's what I feel like, but you heat it up for three seconds, apply it to the end of the rod, uh, just like this. And you're going to go ahead and slip the new tip on there. Make sure that the guides line up. Uh, it's going to want to rotate around a little on you. Hold that one in place for just a minute, and then you're going to heat that up a little bit. The barrel of that new tip is going to heat up the glue on the inside of there, and that way it can adhere to the uh, barrel and the tip of the rod. You're going to hold that in place. Uh, blow on it. Make sure it doesn't rotate again. You want those guides to line back up. And that's it. That's all there is to it. It's a real simple process. This whole thing took uh, probably about four minutes to do. Uh, this thing is holding really tight. I'm having no issues with that. We let it cool down. Um, it's solid. It's good to go. Hey, if you enjoyed this video, if I'm helping you out at all, please consider subscribing and, uh, you know, slapping that notification bell so that you never miss an opportunity to go out and uh, break a few rods with us. Hope you have a wonderful day. Get yourself out there, go do a little fishing, and we'll catch you in the next video.